Welcome to Not A Gamer Gaming. This is Genosis with a bit of a test video for you today. The question I'm looking to answer, does the AFK base still work in Alpha 20? Let's go take a look. So I spent some time building a kind of a smaller version of the AFK base that we're accustomed to building. So let's give a quick rundown of how this works. All right, zombies path up, they jump up the stairs, they come around and we have two sludge turrets. The sledge turrets are fitted out with mods such as the flaming mod, the rad remover, as well as the uh, weighted head mod, which will give more knockdowns. Now, in my inventory, uh, I have all the tech junkie books. You only really need a couple of them, the ones that do more damage and the other one that increases the fire rate. The rest of them don't really ap apply to this uh, particular test. Now let's take a look at our intellect. We have max total electrocutioner and robotics inventor. We don't need electrocutioner, but we just need ma max robotics inventor. And just to get some experience, I have maxed advanced, in advanced engineering. This will give us a, some experience, 50% of the experience from the trap kills. And that will be in the form of these blade traps. Now, here we go. So oh, a little too fast. So here's the basic premise. They come up, the sledge turrets hit them. Ideally, they will knock off and fall down this pit where they'll encounter just the minimal amount of fall damage. Uh, I think it's about 13, yeah, I think it's between 12 and 14 um, blocks is when you, uh, the zombies finally take fall damage. Now we have some uh, kind of cheeky uh, bullseyes here to hit the wall and fall down. Otherwise, they would fall into the grass sometimes, and I want them hit all the way down. Same over here. Uh, if they get knocked over in this direction, hit this, fall into the traps, and they path back around and back into the base. So yeah, that's the idea. Now inside, uh, we just have a generator bank, and that's powering our three blade traps, our one shotgun turret, which uh, already has, has plenty of ammo. I won't bother, well, let's top it off. There we go. So yeah, that's gonna take care of any vultures in case they come up. We also have some lights, giving us some additional light, and I have plenty of these to light the way. Uh, we also have my wife's camera down here, catching any of the fun <laughs> flopping that the zombies will do when they hit the ground. That's it. I'm sure you want me to shut up and just see what the base looks like in action. So I have 64 zombies, and my game stage is just shy of 200. So let's give it a try. All right, Horde Night has begun. Let's see how we do. Let's get a good position for the, some of the action and see how this works. Oh, I probably should turn my generator on, come to think of it. That would be a good idea. If I can just uh, access it. Hold on, let's pop back into my camera. Uh, there we go. Traps are on. And lights are on too. All right, one little note. I have a little uh, hatch around here where you can come down, crouch, and fix the blade traps if they need fixing. That's kind of handy. But we probably should be hiding in here. Just, uh, yeah, we probably should be. All right, let's go outside and take a look at the action. All right, as we can tell, the zombies are flying around as intended. I did hear the telltale sound of Demolisher. There he is, and there he goes. <laughs> Flopping around. All right, so yeah, seems to be working great so far. We do have irradiated zombies, and that's to be expected this kind of a game stage. So let's watch the turrets go in action for just a little longer. All right, so far so good. Uh, taking a look at the traps, uh, the second turret has barely done anything. Just the, the occasional straggler. Oh, we have a bit of an explosion back here, which uh, took out one of our lanterns, but no major damage. So we can top that off later. That's the expected collateral damage you'll get from exploding, uh, exploding cops and the like. So yeah, um, very seldomly they get to the second turret. And if they do, that will happen, as these zombies seem to be finding out. All right, let's get another angle for some good fun and watch the turrets do their job.
Now, as many might have known from this channel, is that we do have a, an AFK based video that's been uh, that's been fairly popular, and it was a good variation of this. And a lot of comments I've read, pretty much all of them, uh, they suggest such things as having a fall pit. So we have a fall pit. Now, the cool feature of this is that as they're jumping on, they're getting properly spaced out so they don't cluster right in front of the uh, the stairs. So this seems to be working. It also puts them in a straight path. So I don't really have to have like those triangle or the uh, pyramid stairs that I need to. You could still put them for, uh, you know, just occasional zombie bashing, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. But yeah, the fall trip, it's a fall trip, sorry, the fall trap does seem to be doing its job. And they, yeah, they space, uh, they space themselves out nice and neat, fall in line, and get knocked down. And another suggestion was putting blade traps which uh, is cool. It catches some stragglers. Um, gets When they get close enough, they stop at the hatch, they get knocked down, blade trap finishes them off. and But most of them seem to be falling prey to that first turret, as you see here. So I'm gonna pop back into my character. Uh, here I am. Let's get my inventory, my uh, inventory, but my UI back. Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> this hatch. So walk right around here. I'm gonna crouch and Oh, crouch. Oh, am I not crouching? I mean, oops, actually in god mode. Uh, yeah, that that's about done. So we'll do a little bit of repair. And uh, it's still working. We should be able to repair all of them from this track without much of an issue. Now, those blade traps aren't 100% necessary. I just wanted to elaborate that there is a maintenance path that this design can benefit from if you choose to do a kind of a less AFK style of this base. If you wanted, you could be over here shooting the zombies. Just stand right here. And, or maybe extend this platform down and fire off into that uh, that pit. I mean, I'd love to fire some, some uh, grenades, uh, fire some molotovs. That would be a lot of fun. So this could be a very good active base as well. All right, let's get a nice good top-down view of all the action and watch a little longer. It is uh, just after midnight. Four hours left to go. Looks like we had a near close encounter with that demolisher down there. Who seems to be having a hard time with these blade traps. Are you, uh, you okay there, fella? No, you're not okay. But we are. We're perfectly fine. We are here standing motionless inside of a little uh, dark cubby hole. We're fine. We're fine. These guys, however, they're getting their faces messed up. And I, it's really... <laughs> look at that guy. It's fun watching them ragdoll and smack against that bullseye. It's just therapeutic. I could have this on loop. It's just a, just a lot of fun. Let's actually get nice and close to the uh, to the flopping action right here, and watch for a little longer. Check the time. We are just shy of 1 a.m. Now as I'm looking at my experience gain, I'm getting, a, I'm still getting a fair amount of experience. Uh, I'm getting some uh, direct kills from the turrets because those count as my weapons, and some incidental deaths from the blade traps. So I'm getting a modest amount of experience. I mean, I, I'd be kind of fun to maybe do a direct tally, but just watching the turrets do the job. Yeah, that was a direct kill right there. Uh, they seem to be quite nice for experience. So again, 64 zombies holding up quite nicely. Uh, if I'm going to call it here, I mean, I'm not going to end the night, but I'm going to say so far. Uh, this has been a success. The AFK base is alive and well in Alpha 20. All right, let's get another fun perspective and watch a little longer. Now, this is a fun perspective. <laughs> right in the action. This is uh, Poundy's perspective as he's pounding everybody. Look at that. Just pound that absolute stuffing out of every zombie in range. Having a good time of it, too. All right, let's take a look at the time. 2 a.m. So we are shy of just two hours left of this night. And let's take a look at any appraisal of damage. I'm not seeing any cracks in the main path. Uh, no, that's just uh, drying concrete. Now let's take a look down here. Uh, see, one block has been bashed out for some angry zombies. No, actually, that's our light. That's probably a cop explosion. So, to be expected. Um, there may be a little bit of angry zombies here. But again, just a little bit of concrete. Or just throw some stone down there. Not a big deal. Uh, nothing that wouldn't take just a few moments. A little bit of concrete to repair. So again, very minimal maintenance so far. 
I didn't see much of any structural damage. And uh, yeah, just maybe a little bit of steel to top off our blade traps, which are still operational after a couple touch-ups throughout the night. But considering how much death is happening here, how few bullets are being used, none, well, maybe a few shotgun shells, I'd say that this is still <laughs> an economical design. Okay, let's uh, see how, how much the more than I can go through and uh, just watch some more zombie smacking. Oh, another uh, demolisher hitting the ground. All right, so let's check the time. 3 a.m., so we're almost at 4 a.m., so almost the Horde Knight, complete Horde Knight without any intervention from me, a lot of zombie death, and yeah, not bad experience just kind of coming along every now and then. Again, this is not about experience, it's just about, uh, <laughs> I guess, removing the threat of the zombies. I mean, again, the zombie threat isn't 100% removed. Um, there could be incidental explosions, explosions, you're still in here, might get some spit, but I mean, this isn't meant to trivialize the game. This is just kind of a fun thing to do. I, I wouldn't recommend everyone do it this way. Half the fun is shooting the zombies, uh, punching the zombies, and cracking zombie skulls. Uh, but this is more or less just to prove a point that it's possible. Just a little bit of proof of concept. Again, I don't recommend everyone do it this way. This is not the new meta. This is just me having some fun and sharing a little bit of a concept of a base design. So if you want to do it, great. If you don't and you want to go along your merry way, fantastic. Everyone plays their own way. All right, one last, uh, one last bout of zombie smacking. Let's get right down on the action. And uh, yeah, enjoy the view. All right, morning has arrived. Let's take a look. Let's take a quick appraisal of what's going on here. Well, it sounds like a blade trap's doing some work. Yeah, and done. All right, so let's take a quick appraisal. I'll look at this guy. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, uh, yeah, the zombies are still doing their business. Having a lot of fun. Uh, minimal damage, still only that uh, lantern was done. Uh, the staircase, staircase doesn't seem to take much of any damage. The mo bulk of the damage seems to be happening down here while they're flailing about and doing their thing. Their little rage mode. Yeah, you, you don't look happy. You're not happy. Nope. But yeah, these guys are just... <laughs> bouncing around, we we'll work the way back up, uh, up to our trap, get knocked down, and a lot of death, but uh, not, a, not a lot of our death. We're perfectly fine. We're hunky-dory, 100% health, not an issue. So this has been a lot of fun. Six uninterrupted hours of zombie pounding and no serious damage and no real threat from the zombies. So that's it. That's it for me. If you like what you saw here today, hit like on the video. If you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.